Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hanson with Hooked for Hope. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the baby grab ball. This thing is so cool and it looks extremely complicated, but actually it's really, really easy. You only make two different parts but you just make a lot of these different parts. So I'm gonna actually put in the notes section below a timestamp. So you can do step one, complete step one, and then step two, complete step two, and just work on it however you wanna work on it, as fast or as slow as you wanna go your own pace, and just come back to my video, look at the timestamp to know exactly where you need to go for the next step. Or you can just print out the pattern, watch this video all the way through, and know exactly what you have to do. That's another way you could do it. If at any point you do like this video, please make sure you push the thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. That way you don't miss any of my videos. I release two brand new videos every single week, covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects, and you are not going to want to miss out. But let's go ahead and dive straight into what materials you're going to need to make this super cool baby grab ball. The pattern used in this tutorial for the baby grab ball was created by Priscilla Hewitt with Priscilla's Crochet. There is a link in the notes section below that will take you directly to this pattern, or you can go to this website right here and it will take you to this pattern of Priscilla's Crochet. Please print that off, that way you can follow along with me and let's get started. The materials that you're going to need to make the baby grab ball are two different colors of a size 4 weighted yarn. It's nice to have two different colors so that way you can offset what you're looking at and it becomes very apparent the 3D object, the three dimensions, gives it really good depth. You're going to want a crochet hook size F or 5, 3.75 millimeter crochet hook, a tapestry needle or yarn needle to sew all the pieces together a pair of scissors, and polyfill or stuffed animal stuffing or just something to stuff all the pieces together. If you are looking at the pattern, you will have noticed that the yarn that the pattern recommends is a size two weighted yarn and a crochet hook size D. Uh, she was making a baby grab ball that was on the smaller side. It's the exact same pattern, guys. Hers is just really small, whereas mine is much bigger. So if you wanna follow her exact yarn recommendation and her crochet hook, what she used to make her baby grab ball, you can absolutely do that. Or you can follow along with me and make this size, which I favor. I actually like this size a lot. It just seems to be a lot easier to handle. And size four weighted yarn is a lot easier to grab from our stash than a size two. So <laughs> working with that, go ahead and make sure you have all of these pieces. Make sure you print off the pattern and let's go ahead and make this baby grab ball. Okay, starting with our darker color, we're going to actually make the outside pieces of the baby grab ball. With a small tail, we're going to form our slip knot, take our crochet hook, attach the yarn. Great. Okay, go ahead and chain two. One, two. Row one, guys, is just putting one single crochet in that first chain. One, perfect, okay, chain one. Turn your work. Okay, row two is putting two single crochets in that one stitch. One, two, great, chain one. Turn your work. Row three is putting two single crochets in each stitch. One, two, three, four, perfect. Chain one, turn our work. Okay, row four is one single crochet in each stitch. One, two, three, four, chain one, turn our work, row five, we're going to increase single crochet or put two single crochets in the first stitch. We're going to put one single crochet in the next two stitches and then increase single crochet in the last stitch. Okay, so one, two, 
in that first stitch and then one, one, and then two in the last stitch. One, two. Great. Chain one. Turn our work. Okay, for row six through row nine, we are going to just put one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. So row six, chain one, turn. Okay, for row 10, you're going to decrease single crochet the first two stitches, then single crochet, single crochet, and single crochet decrease in the last two stitches. One, one, decrease, chain one, turn our work. Row 11, we're just putting one single crochet in each stitch across. One, one, one. one, chain one, turn our work. For row 12, we're going to decrease the first two stitches and decrease the last two stitches. Chain one, turn our work. Last two stitches, guys. This is row 13. We are just decreasing this, these last two stitches together. Great. Okay, do not cut off your work. We're going to chain one, and now we're going to single crochet around the entire sides of this creation, okay? You're going to make 26 single crochets. So 13 on this side, and then 13 on this side. Let's do that together, okay? So in the side that we just made, we're going to put one single crochet, and then the side of this next row, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, great. You want to just make sure that you count 13 single crochets on one side. Okay, then we're going to tuck this piece into the work. Keep turning. We're going to actually put one more single crochet in that same spot because we're just going to work the other side. So that would be 14, then 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. Great. You just want to make sure, if nothing else, that you have 26 single crochets making it all the way around this piece. Okay? We're going to slip stitch into the very top of that first single crochet border to close that border off. Okay? We're going to grab our scissors and you're going to make a long tail because you're going to need the long tail to sew this piece onto the other pieces. Okay? So, I'm going to make a pretty long tail just so that way I can always have something to cut off. I'd rather have too much yarn than run short, okay? I'm going to yarn over, pull through, 
and pull tight for that slip knot to close my piece. Great, okay, so like I said, these are really easy pieces. You just have to make a lot of them. You're gonna wanna repeat this process for a total of 12 of these guys. You need 12 of these. So if you would like, go ahead and just rewind or back up the video and continue to build upon these pieces and make 12 of them. And once you have all 12, let's go ahead and go to step two. Great, we are now ready for step two. So we are grabbing our second color, the color that you are going to be using for the interior of the baby grab ball. Go ahead and we're actually gonna start with a long tail. We want this tail to be at least eight inches long. Uh, then we are going to make our slip knot. Way up there. Take our crochet hook, attach the yarn to our crochet hook. Perfect, okay, chain two. One, two. For row one, we're putting one single crochet in the first chain. One, chain one, turn our work. Row two, we're putting three single crochets in that first stitch. One, two, three, chain one turn our work. For row three, we are going to put one single crochet in each stitch. One, two, three, chain one, turn our work. Row four, we're putting two single crochets in the first stitch, then one single crochet in the second, and two single crochets in the third. So, one, two, one, and then one, two. Perfect, for a total of five single crochets. Chain one, turn our work. Okay, for row five, we're going to put one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. One, two, three, four, there we go. five, chain one, row six, we're putting two single crochets in the first stitch, one single crochet across, and then two single crochets in the last stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Chain one, turn our work. Okay, for round seven, you're just putting one single crochet in each stitch across. Six, seven, chain one, turn our work. Okay, for row eight, two single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in each stitch stitch in between and two single crochets in the last stitch. One, two, eight, nine. Chain one, turn our work. Okay, for row nine, we're just putting one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. One, two, eight, nine. Great, chain one turn our work. For row 10, we're putting two single crochets in the first stitch, one single crochet in each stitch across, and two single crochets in the last stitch. One, two, nine, ten, eleven. Chain one, turn our work. Okay, for row 11, we're putting one single crochet in each stitch across. One, nine, ten, eleven, chain one, turn our work. Okay, for row twelve, we're putting two single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in each stitch across, and two single crochets in the last stitch. One, two, twelve, 
13, chain one, turn our work. Okay, last row is row 13. In row 13, we're putting one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. One, two, three, four, Twelve, thirteen. Great. Okay, grab our scissors. Okay, we're going to cut just a small tail. Okay, yarn over, pull through our loop, pull tight for that slip knot. Okay, great. All right, for step two, guys, we need to make a total of 24 of these. Sounds like a lot, I know. So go ahead and take your time, go at your own pace, but you're gonna need to make a grand total of 24 of these. And once you are done with all 24, we are going to move to step three. Okay guys, first of all, I wanna congratulate you on making all of the pieces. I'm sure you're looking at all the pieces like, oh my gosh, this is a lot of pieces. So good job sticking with it and getting to this point. Now I'm gonna show you how to make each individual cell, each one of these little cells here, okay? So you're gonna take two of your triangles, you're gonna grab one of your ovals, okay? And you're going to need some stuffing, polyfill to fill it, and your tapestry needle or yarn needle to sew the pieces together. So go ahead and start with the two triangles, okay? We're going to make sure that these little, little tails get tucked on the inside. We're gonna line up our pieces. Go ahead and take one of the tails thread it through your yarn needle or tapestry needle. Okay, one tail will sew up this side, one side, and the other tail will sew up the other side, okay? Grabbing the tail, you're gonna line up the sides, pinch them together, okay? Just go around and through. Then bring it over and through. Bring it over and it's going to be a lot of adjusting, <laughs> but just keep bringing it over and then through. And then last stitch right there. Great. Okay. Once you've reached the end, just go ahead and take your yarn needle, insert into the yarn somewhere, take a bit of your yarn, twist it so it makes this like X shape. Bring your needle on the bottom side of it. See, I ran out of yarn. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my yarn. Okay, I'm going to twist it so it makes that X shape. I'm gonna take my needle, insert it into the body of the work, come on the bottom side of the yarn, like that, okay? And I'm gonna take the yarn, I'm gonna thread it inside the needle. There we go. And then pull it through, and that forms that slip knot. Perfect, okay, now I'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Great, okay, perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna take our piece and I am going to flip it inside out, okay? Because that makes the a very smooth sides opposed to the very stiff sides. Great, okay, I'm gonna take all these little loose tails, put them in the middle of the work so they're all hidden, okay? I'm going to take my oval shape, I'm gonna go ahead and thread that through my yarn needle 
great. Okay, if you remember, guys, there were 13 stitches on one side, 13 stitches on the other. That's why it's so important that you made sure you counted 26 single crochets around the outside. Because if you recall, when we made our triangles, we ended with 13 stitches on the very top row. So it should line up evenly where each stitch will have its own connecting stitch, okay? So let's go ahead and lay this on the top. It might take a little fiddling and maneuvering, but then you line up your stitches, okay? And you'll go take the yarn, come to the outside, into the stitch, and through. Okay, and then the next stitch. Into the stitch, through, and then bring it over, into the stitch, through, and continue that halfway. And once you get to the halfway mark, then we'll start stuffing, okay? Okay, so we're gonna tuck that tail in. Gonna grab our stuffing. Now here's the part that I always have to remind myself is to lightly stuff, not overstuff, because I have a tendency to put a lot of stuffing in here thinking, yeah, that'll work. And then when I put all the pieces together for the baby grab ball, it gets really tight. So you kind of want a favor on under stuffing these pieces. I know it sounds a little funny, but trust me, it will definitely be obvious. So I'm gonna put just maybe a little more here. Okay, lay that on top. Okay, once you're satisfied with how stuffed your, your triangle is, or it's now becoming more of a cone shape, okay, you're gonna go ahead and sew up the other side. Remember, each stitch should have its own adjoining stitch. There should be a total of 13 and 13. So let's go ahead and sew up this side together. All right, okay, once your pieces are all sewn together, guys, go ahead and give it a once over. See if maybe there are any stitches you wanna just overlap for a secure close. Again, it might look a little understuffed, but for the case of this baby grab ball, that's gonna be okay, okay? So we have just completed our one side. Go ahead and insert your yarn needle hold back a little bit of yarn, okay? Twist this so it forms an X shape. Come in at the bottom, slowly feed it, okay? Pull tight and then reinsert your yarn needle somewhere into the work. Come out another end, great. And that stuffing on the inside will secure that X, that string into the work, cut off your extra. Great, okay, so we have this shape right here. We're gonna go ahead and take all of those pieces that you just created. You're gonna end with 12 of these. You're gonna make 12 of these little guys, okay? So go ahead and take a second, put all your pieces together, and then we'll move on to step four. Okay guys, at this point, I wanna just give you some compliments, some mad kudos for getting to this point. This was a lot of just prep work for what we're doing. And yes, it's super easy to make all the pieces. Yes, it is super easy to put everything together. It's just a lot. So I wanted to just say good job on that. Okay, so at this point, what we're going to do is we're gonna start assembling the pieces. All right, so we're gonna grab three pieces. So moving all those aside. We're just gonna stick with three. We're gonna grab our yarn needle, tapestry needle, our pair of scissors, and the darker colored yarn or the color of yarn you used on the outside oval shapes, okay? 
we're going to grab a fair bit of string here from our yarn. Cut that off. Going to feed that through our yarn needle. Great. Okay, so first let's take two pieces and we're just going to sew the corners together. So I'm going to take one, going to attach the yarn to one corner. Going to give myself enough of a long tail so I can thread this through the piece and hide the end. I tied like three knots in there. I want to make sure that ex that's extra secure. Okay, so then I'm going to grab another piece and just uh, corner to corner right there. So I'll take this yarn. I'll find this corner on the new piece. Okay, slowly feed them and meet them together. I'm going to take and I'm going to insert my needle on this one and through. And then up bottom to top. Okay, and then if you pull those tight, you'll get a really good look. So on this triangle right here, I'm going to go top to bottom. And on this one, I'm going to go bottom to top. And you're just going to keep sewing these back and forth until you feel that there is a very secure connection between these two guys, okay? Okay, great. So once you feel like those two pieces are very securely sewn together, we're going to go ahead and find the other really long tail that we started with. I'm going to make sure that my yarn is also poking out the bottom. So on both sides, the yarn is poking out the same direction. Cut that off. I'm going to tie a knot. I'm going to knot these together. Just the, the lucky number seems to be three for me. <laughs> I do like three knots. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to grab my crochet hook, insert on one side of the triangle. I'm going to pop out right next to where that knot is on the bottom so it hides it. I'm going to grab it with my hook and suck them into the work and they're stuck in there and it's secure and it's great. Okay, so wiggle the crochet hook back out of the work. Perfect. We got two connected with each other. Let's grab the third one and I'm just going to make a train with it. So I'm going to connect these two now, these two corners. So I'll... All right, when you feel like those two are sewn together and super secure, we're going to go ahead and cut off our string, making sure that they're both coming out the exact same direction and tie a knot with the two strings. One, two, three. Great. Taking our crochet hook, coming in one side, coming out as close to that knot as we can. There we go. Grab the yarn with the hook and pull it in. Great. Okay, so we have our three pieces. They are all sewn together. Last step we're going to do, are you ready for this? We're going to sew these two together. So got our long line, fold them in, and we want to sew these two sides together. Okay, so go ahead and attach our yarn on this side from the bottom to the top. Okay, leaving a long enough tail, making our three knots. Or you don't have to do three knots, but three knots seem to be my magic number. Okay, so I just went from the bottom to the top, and I'll come to the other corner, and I'll go from the top, go this side, top 
to the bottom. Bring those in. Great. Okay, and then bottom to top. And top to bottom. And just keep going until you're sure those are secure. Great. Okay, I feel like those are very secure. I'm going to make sure my two strings are both facing the same direction here. Cut my yarn. Okay, make sure everything is tight. Perfect. Okay, and knot those together. All right, guys. Okay, so we just made our three right here that you'll see all three points sewn together. I want you to take a second and I want you to take all of your other triangles that you've created and I want you to make four groups of these three. Okay, and then we'll move on to the next step. You're doing fantastic. Keep going. Okay, great. So now we have our four piles with three different triangles where all of the corners were sewn together in each little section here. Now we get even more interesting, guys. So we are going to start connecting these corners together, those together, and we will sew those together, okay? So basically, wherever there was a corner that we sewed together, these two are now gonna sew. So grab your yarn, same color, and your yarn needle or tapestry needle, and thread that. Go ahead and start with this corner, where I'm going to go in the bottom to top, leaving a long tail for us to weave in our end. Then I'll take this corner here and I'll go top to bottom. Great. Okay, and then I'll just continue to go bottom to top and then top to bottom, okay, until these two corners are secure. Perfect. Okay. Let's move. Let's go ahead and attach these two together. Bottom to top, leaving a long tail. Top to bottom. Okay, and once you feel that those are secure, tie a knot. All right, go ahead and pull that into the work. There we go. Okay, so we have our two sections, right? Okay, we're still adding them together, okay? So now you connect one end to another end or another end here, just however you want to connect two other ends together, okay? I'll connect these two, okay, right here, where these two join and those two join. Okay, and when you feel those are secure, Cut that, tie our ends together, pull everything tight, great, Great, okay, so at this point, all of our pieces are sewn together in a unit, but we need to actually make sure that all of the corners actually are sewn together. That is the crazy part, guys. We are going to make sure that all of the corners are sewn together. 
Dum, dum, dum. Okay, so let's take a second and figure out, okay, we'll do these two. Okay, let's do these two together. Things are going to start to get tight, or not tight necessarily, but just where you got to keep them where, where you want them to stay. It's going to get a little more, lots going on. Okay, so I'm going to hold these together. Little crowded. But that's okay. That's what we want. Oh my gosh. Literally, guys, this last step is like a magic trick. It's so cool. I'm working with these two right here, these two corners, making sure that they are secure. Want to make sure everything is tight and not loose. Want it to hold shape. Okay. I think that's good. I'm going to pull everything, make sure everything's tight. Tie my knot. Great. I'm going to go ahead and trim some of these extra long piece of yarn. And doesn't matter where it gets woven into as long as we just weave in our ends. Okay, looking at the top of our project, you're going to start to see why I said to understuff your triangles here. I always seem to put a little too much stuffing in the baby grab ball because I'm like, no, it'll be okay. But seriously, with the baby grab ball with those triangles, we wanted to understuff because these things start to really get squished. But that's where the shape really takes place. So grabbing some more, grabbing some more yarn here to work with. Okay, deciding which corner am I going to sew together next. Okay, so here's what I'm working with. I think what I'm going to do, guys, I think I am going to, hmm, this guy's kind of out here in the middle. I'm going to bring him in. So I'm actually going to attempt to sew these two together. Okay, so this is like their little triangle right here. I'm going to sew these two together. Okay, gonna go from the bottom to the top, leaving a long tail, and then from the top to the bottom. Okay, and pull these guys together. And what you might do when we start getting to the point where these guys are getting really cramped is tie a knot here and it will hold them together and so they're not constantly pulling apart from each other. So now these guys are going to stay relatively close together and I'm gonna go from the bottom to the top and then over on this side, I'm gonna go from the top to the bottom. Cool, okay, those are sewn together guys. If you want, you can go backwards back over everything but I don't think it's necessary I think I'm okay if you want to go for it go to the bottom here looks kind of like a sea urchin a little bit <laughs> okay twist it twist it so I can tie this knot here one two three Cool. Cut that off. And it's looking like it's closer to this particular triangle. Great. Okay. Make sure. Do I have enough yarn? I think I have enough yarn here for another corner. This is what I'm looking at, guys. Looks really tight, really bunched. But watch this. I think I'm at the point now where I'm ready to do the magic trick. Okay, so we still have to make sure that this corner and this corner get sewn together. So we're going to take these pieces and squish them in the middle. Squish, 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 squish. 
pull these two corners together. And when we pull those two corners together, guys, it forms that baby grab ball. All of those inner colors really come out and it looks so cool. Okay, so now we just gotta sew these two pieces together. Going to go from the bottom to the top on that side and then the top to the bottom on this side and I definitely want to make sure I tie a knot in this because these guys do not want to stay together. There's a whole lot of pressure going on here. So I'm going to tie this knot, force that to stay. Cool. Okay, and now I'm going to continue to sew these two corners together and make that a little bit tighter. This last one, guys, you really want to make sure you uh, go over it a couple times just to make it as strong as you can. Great. Okay, I'm at the other end here where my other tail is. I'm going to tie my two tails together. One, two, three. Okay, cut off that excess tail. Don't need that much of a tail. Okay, it looks like my tail is closest to this particular triangle. So I'll come in right there. Voila. Okay, so now all of your triangles, the, the very points of the bottom of the triangle, just make sure that they are all pushed to the center of the ball. So going in each, trying to grab each triangle, make sure that they're all pointing to the center. Perfect, guys. There it is. Isn't that so cool? Oh my gosh. Your baby grab ball. Hee <laughs> hee. All right, guys, what do you think of our baby grab ball? This thing is so cool. I love these things. They are just the neatest little crocheted creation that you could make. If you give it away as a gift, people just go crazy over it. They're like, you made that? That is so incredible. Kids love these. They just can't get enough of holding them, grabbing them, playing with them, throwing them around. You can make them for gifts, as I said, or you can sell these. You can just keep it around your house as a decor item, whatever you want to do. These are just very special. I hope you liked this video. I hope you like crocheting with me today. If you did, you might also really like these videos right here. And also check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys.